Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to Morgan Mare Studios, the art of the model horse hobby. And today I'm going to be covering different positions of a tail. Let's start out with a tail that is completely relaxed on Geronimo here. As you can see, his tail, they do have a bone in their tail that extends not very far down, probably to right about here, that alters how high they hold their tail. Kind of like how our finger bends in a way. That is a terrible comparison. But anyways, his tail is very relaxed but slightly windblown. As you can see how this has a nice line here and it doesn't come up at all. Okay. First up I gotta draw my booty. So the tail comes out of right about here. For a relaxed tail, see here's the bone. Lovely little diagram there, but and it would probably start from here. And I do have a piece of skin that kind of extends down to here. If you have your horses, you'll know. And it kind of comes off of here. So when you're drawing your tail, you want to make sure that you showcase that. It's their tails aren't just hair that comes right out of their butt. So you want to start your tail here. And have it come slightly off. And then just have this little part here. And you can always take your finger and blend it into the butt. But here's the rest of the tail. If you want to know how to draw a more realistic and less rough tail, check out my tutorial on how to draw flowing manes. Next up is a tail that is slightly raised. I'm going to be using Blake as an example. As you can see, that bone here comes just slightly off. It isn't sticking like up, but it's just coming slightly off of his butt and just holding up his gorgeous tail just slightly. Gotta draw another booty. I'm not gonna have room for the third one. I'll draw it more up here. So, a tail that comes more out would be something like this. So, there's my little tail. Remember that little piece of skin? Not gonna blend it this time. This was a very thick tail, but you can always have your tail blowing more. Once again, if you want to know how to draw hair on how it flows or how it's still or how it's like super crazy, like blah, check out my tutorial on how to draw free flowing mates. And last but not least is a tail that is raised. I'm going to be showing you Anola's tail here, my partly cloudy that I picked up at the Clarion. Her tail is sticking up really high, so you can see that little piece it or that little that little little bitty tail just comes up and holds up all that gorgeous hair and it stops right about here and it lets the hair flow off the tail almost like a flag. her back over there. So to draw a tail that's raised, you're going to want to draw it up like that, almost like a dog tail. And I'm totally covering up what I drew before, but it's okay. And you're going to have your tail flowing all that way. Unless it's like, unless it's the wind's blowing a different direction, then I guess you could have it come this way. Tail can also show how your horse is feeling in a pasture. A raised tail like this can show that they're kind of feeling a little bit hyper and a little bit crazy or sometimes a little bit scared. And a tail that's relaxed like this just shows that they're relaxed, they're calm, they don't really care. Tail that's slightly raised. 
I know I'm probably going to get canceled for this, but it, I don't think it means much. Might mean they're slightly alert, like, ooh, what's that? They might just be, you know, just raising their tail a little bit to swish at some flies or just hold it up so it's not dragging the ground. There can be any number of reasons for that because I don't know the real reason, but you know, it's, it's okay. But that is actually going to be the end of my video for today. And once again, if you want to draw more detailed hair, look at my tutorial on how to draw free flowing manes and thank you for watching and i hope this was helpful to you and bye